Hello and welcome to Goodling Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo. And I'm the wife. And today we're playing... Space Food Truck. Space Food Truck, uh, which has been developed and published by One Man Left Studios. Uh, it is a cooperative culinary sci-fi venture with one to four players taking on unique roles or aboard the Galaxy Gourmet. Their mission is to explore a vast, procedurally generated galaxy in search of exotic ingredients, craft delicious recipes, and build a powerful collection of items and abilities to withstand the untold dangers of deep space. So we're driving a food truck through space. Yeah, because yeah, this could be a food truck simulator game, and we'd be like, oh, it's, it's another one of those weird simulator games. But no, space <laughs> food truck. It's all of a sudden, whoa, now this game is a game I must it's just, play. It's putting two things together that I absolutely love. Space, space shows and space, all kinds of space movies and everything with space. And then, you know, culinary stuff. Food trucks. And who doesn't like to eat? Exactly. Why not eat in space? Yeah, I, I agree with that. Okay, so we got, uh, this will be available on November 24, 2015. And I'll have links in the description below so that you can check all that out. Uh, we're going to start a new game. There is a lot to this game. It is a card game. Um, but it is a awesome game <laughs> at the same time. And so we're going to go through this and see what it's all about. Yeah, there is way too much to show in yeah. just one episode. And I'll try to explain it as we go along if I can. Mm -hmm. Ah, space. Sprinkled across its fastness are more exotic flavors than any single tongue could hope to fathom. We, the Galaxy Gourmet crew, risk our lives to bring the finest dishes from across the stars right to your home planet. And to earn money uh, so that we can repay our creditors for this very expensive spaceship. The captain has plotted our course, the chef selected some signature recipes, and the engineer says all systems are go. And the scientist, we know, we prefer not to ask what he's up to anymore. All we're missing are fresh ingredients and hungry customers. Kaja! Kaja! Let's go. So we're going to start the game, and I'm going to go over the interface first. And I'm going to try not to reference Star Trek every time I get a chance. Yeah. So it's the captain's turn turning off. Uh, turn, coming up. Yes, coming up. And we have a crisis. There's a crisis at the beginning of every turn. This crisis is an emergency. These two players must meet in, in the next 12 turns in a room shown. If they can't, the ship takes one damage. So it's the chef and the scientist. So the way this game works is we're in a ship. It's a food truck. And we're in space. And in the top I left... I hope so. <laughs> yeah. That would explain the name. It got title of the game. In the top left-hand corner, we have the HP of the ship. We have currently have five HP. That uh, once that goes down, it is a permanent decline in HP. There's no way to increase HP that I know of in the game. Question. Answer. I know HP is health, right? Mm. Is it health power, health healing point. points? Usually health points. Health points. I always wondered what the P was for. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. your health. Generally, health points. Um, uh, here we have shield. We have two shields. So if we're going to take a damage, it'll take a damage to our shield, and so it won't damage our hull. And the engineer can repair that shield so we don't take damage later. The FTL is for jumping, so we can power up the FTL and jump three spaces max right now. Uh, our objective currently is to help the chef uh, cook a plutini. Uh, we have the job of cooking these three recipes around the galaxy. We start out with the plutini as our first recipe. It takes space kale and post cheddar cheese. The other recipes take these other things. It looks like we're going to need a lot of blue meat in the future. So our objectives are to go around, you know, traveling around space, getting these ingredients to cook? To cook into the these food? recipes and then deliver them and sell them to our customers. Okay. Somewhere in the galaxy. Um, and the ship is uh, divided into sections. There's the workshop, more on that later. We got the kitchen, we got the lab, and we got the bridge. More on all those uh, later. Uh, there are four, up to four players in this game. And you can, if you play four players, each of you will play as one of the characters. We have the captain, the chef, the scientist, and the engineer. In the bottom, bottom left-hand corner, you see the current player is the captain. And since we're playing solo local game, uh, we're going to be all four characters ourselves so yeah uh, at the bottom we see the deck uh, the the hand uh, that the captain currently has in her hand so these are the cards and each of those has different text on them and different things so each card has an orange if you look at the top right hand corner you have an orange number and then a blue number i like the way you say orange 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 number and a blue number so the orange number is the power that that uh, card gives to a action so uh, it can power up an action and 
more power generally means the action does more stuff, and more on that later. Uh, the blue number is the value of the card, so we have uh, one dollar uh, or one space buck. One space buck! Space bucks! We should so we call it food bucks. One food bucks. So we have five food bucks in our hand. <laughs> okay, five value in our hand uh, from those blue numbers. And uh, we have a discard pile and a draw pile. Uh, we have buttons at the top right. Uh, not, don't really need to focus on those right now. And that's pretty much the interface. So we're going to do the captain's um, t uh, turn this time. I already have a question. What's your question? So uh, when you discard, do you automatically get more? At the end of your hand, every, uh, every at the end of your turn, every card in your hand goes into the, the discard pile, and then you draw another hand. Oh, so it's whatever card. you don't use in that turn. No, even if you use it, whether you use it or not, it goes into the discard pile. Oh, and then you just get five new cards. That's right. For your next turn. That's right. Okay. And you can give cards to other characters. You can also go to next phase. So let's do the uh, do the captain's turn. We have engage and hall pass. We also have these orange cards, which are starter cards and give power. And the blue cards, to see this blue card, it says job card captain on it, mm -hmm. which means that this is a job card. Only the captain can use this ability. Uh, this is a, not a captain, not a job card. It's just an item. So anyone can use that. Uh, hall pass can be played anywhere, and it can be used to move to any other room. Engage can be used to move the ship through space, and that's the primary responsibility of the captain. So we can go to the map now. And look at where we are. We're currently right here in Hessek. We want to go first to Fraley, and then second we need to go to Rainy, and third to go to Kolrot. And that lines up with these recipes at the top. So you generally want to go first recipes Plutini. You want to start going towards the first planet. And as you're traveling, there you have a chance of picking up the ingredients for this, or you can also buy them at the shop. So let's do the captain's turn. Ready? Yes. All right. Actually starting the game. Where Let's are go. your customers? Customers are on the planets on the map. So our first customer is on Fraley. So we will be, we'll be hey, heading that way. What does it say? The Fraleyans have a long list of food allergies we should review. Because they're frail. They're frailly. Ah, so each one of them has a little telling you about the planet. Yep. Hessek. Couldn't hurt to do a quick review on how to operate their feeding tubes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, we're going to do the captain's turn. Uh, we're going to use engage. And that's going to allow us to move the ship. Uh, this takes power, so select cards with power to charge and engage. So we can move up to three with um, the FTL we currently have installed. So we're going to use one, two, three power and see how far we can get. Submit. Now there's a chance that as you're jumping around, you can actually lose your charge and have to stop. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen to us. It looks like this one up here is a dead end, so we're going to avoid that. In order to get to one, it looks like we need to... I don't know if th those two are connected, so we might have to go like around the galaxy. Like Follow around the yellow on the, road. Yeah, they're around the outside. So let's go here. A Miro, a planet of exercise fanatics. We're happy to bring the gains. Uh, Unobtainia, ironically one of the easier planets in the galaxy to reach. And... Uh, <laughs> Doofnut. Their favorite sport is is rolling. I didn't remember. Uh, I didn't know it was a sport either. Oh, like donut. Doofnut. All right, let's go. Done. So we're gonna start jumping. So we're jumping to those three places. That's right. You want me to punch it? Make it so. Punch it. Now we're in a mirror. French fried fuel. The cook, cook donates some old cooking oil grease for fuel. FTL charge refills plus two. So our, our FTL refilled again, even though we used one of the uh, one of the FTL charges. The chef was able to get us two more. So we're gonna punch it again. Punch it. Punch it. Unobtainia. The chef wants to show off one of his uh, people's favorite dances. Discard two power to stop him. Or he breaks two <laughs> random, or he breaks two random items. Uh, okay. Where's his feet? He has no feet, does he? Seriously. Okay, developer, we need feet on the chef. <laughs> He's dancing. He needs the feet. <laughs> Continue. Okay, so I don't have two power, so he's gonna break two random items. Uh oh. Boo! Damage. Draw pot is broken. Lab station is broken. Okay. Punch it again. Punch it. Rousing speech. Your captain is awesome. She inspires everyone else to draw a card. 
The engineer gets a upgrade ship card, the chef gets a cook card, and the scientist gets a taste of the future card. <clears throat> Look how she's doing the, the peace signs. <laughs> nice. Like, what's his face? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, Nixon? Yes. Ah. So I guess we gotta dock the ship here, because I believe... We are pretty much stopped. Um, play to recharge the shield by one. Uh, so this is the Zap Mart. So when, uh, when at the end of each turn, you can buy from the Zap Mart more cards that you can put in your deck. Each character can do that. But the captain can actually resupply the Zap Mart by uh, buying things basically with value at the end of her turn. Can you buy anything else at the Zap Mart? Uh, you can buy whatever you put up here. Whatever you take from up here, whatever you take from the blueprints, you can put in the Zap Mart. You can then buy it later. Okay. So we have uh, this Aegis Batter will recharge the shield by one. This will um, draw two cards and allow the user to hold more than we thought possible. And this will give us more power as well as this. And this is a common ingredient. We do need that ingredient, but I'm just going to let the... I'm going to click that because I want the chef to be able to get that one. Uh, I'm going to try to get... Let's get the power glove. And let's get this um, spun silk. Let's have one of those. And we're going to resupply. That'll resupply the zap mark. Cool. And that is the captain's turn. Alrighty. Ready to go next phase? Next phase. Next phase. So now the captain can buy things from the zap mark to resupply her... Um, her basically her discard pile which will go into the draw pile um so we have five value here and you see the value at the bottom of each of these cards so i can get a power glove in 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 the in my card deck or i can get a uh, hall pass or space kale i'm going to get the power glove i think why because that's going to allow me to draw more cards and that should be really useful <clears throat> honestly so we have 12 turns right we have 12 turns to get those people together. That doesn't end the game, though. Oh, I was going to say, what happens at the end of 12 turns? It's just, yeah. We oh, take that's it, just an objective. We take a damage if we haven't got them together in the same room yet. Okay. So in turn, all of our cards go into the discard pile. We draw five new cards from the draw pile. And now it's the chef's turn. Now, the chef's job is to cook the recipes. Uh-oh, we got a crisis. Cosmic Raid, the lab's computer takes a few stray cosmic rays, scrambling one of your research topics. If they're all busted, take one damage. So they're not all busted. Half of them are busted. We'll have to get the engineer fixing that later on. But the chef's turn, he can either, he can do taste test and cook right now. So basically his job is to cook the, the different recipes up here. Uh, currently we don't have anything for any of the recipes. But we, if we had space kale or post cheddar cheese, we'd be able to cook these, start cooking these recipes. I can also do taste tests, which allows me to draw two cards and then add one to them to my hand and discard the other so let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and throw a taste test in here so these two are really not that useful i'll grab one or the other it doesn't matter and i'll discard the other and then i can do another taste test i can grab that hall pass because he doesn't have a hall pass it's good to have that i'll discard the other and um Honestly, there's not anything else he really needs to do. I mean, he could go, hold on, he could go to the bridge and meet the scientist there just to get that out of the way. The scientist does have hall pass, so this isn't a bad move. We'll go ahead and hall pass the chef into the bridge. And then we will meet him later when with the scientist so that we can get rid of that objective right there. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's pretty much the chef's turn right now. We don't have anything else he needs to do. So, like... Since the thing needs to be fixed, do you have to wait to the engineer's turn to yeah. send him over there to fix it? Yes, the engineer has to use a wrench and then power up the wrench in order to fix things. Okay. So that's the chef's turn. We'll go ahead and go next turn. So here's the thing on the Zap Mart. Here's the, here's all the things on the Zap Mart. I'm going to go ahead and grab... We need... We need those ingredients for the chef. We need post cheddar cheese and space kale. So I'm going to go ahead and get space kale and post cheddar cheese and he'll be able to cook on his next turn. And that's all I can afford, so I'm going to go in turn. Everything goes into the discard pile, and See, then that's what new was confusing deck. me. You bought those, and then it went in the discard. But the discard cycles through to the draw pile once the once the uh, draw pile is empty. Okay. 
So it came out of nowhere. The ship takes one damage from a meteoroid. So one damage to the shields, so the engineer can also repair that. Um, so it's the scientist's turn now. And what we were going to do with the scientist? We were going to meet the chef in here, right? Yes, in so, the, on the bridge. So I'm going to I'm going to play my hall pass to move him to the bridge. That will fulfill the crisis. We no longer have to have these guys in the bridge. Uh, and so I, now that he's done that, I don't have any research cards in here. Normally with the scientists, you can go to this screen and research and actually unlock new skills, new cards and everything. But since I can't do that, I'm going to use the foresight card. I'm going to go ahead and use all my power and submit. The scientist looks mad. Scientist always looks mad. And I can only unlock stuff for chef and captain, so... I'm just going to have to, and I can't unlock anything because I don't have a research card, so I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to peek at all the captain's skills. Now, you can do this randomly, right? You don't have to, it doesn't have to go in order? Right. These are, these are, it doesn't go from left to right or anything. These are all random cards. Six of these, behind six of these are uh, job cards that they can pick up, I believe, and behind one of them is a really nice artificial ingredient. And see, are the other two are because the station is broken? Yeah, because these so at the bottom are broken, those? I can't open these. Mm -hmm. So there, there, there's a lot to this game. There's a developer actually put out a really nice tutorial for this game. I will try to make sure to put it in the description. Right, yeah, that so would that, be helpful. So that everyone can go down to the developer tutorials, and they go really thoroughly through it. I didn't want to go so thoroughly in my video. Um, yeah, we would need do. to do like a whole series out of this game. But they they are really efficient at explaining it, so I'll link those below for you guys. Um, so let's do some more foresight. We have three points down here, so we can unlock three more of these um, nodes. And I'll just pick at random. So these are skills I could pick up with the captain. This is the, uh, I guess the, what is it called? Captain's orders. Play to teleport one player to any room, ignoring all obstacles, and they will respect your authority. So if I need to get characters together, I can use captain's orders to move them around If I once I research that. This is overdrive. It lets me play to add two car a charge to your FDL drive, even beyond the max, then travel if you want. So I can, I can travel further than expected. Golden syrup, that's the really special artificial ingredient. Uh, a syrup so refined that it only needs two monocles. Wait a minute. A syrup so refined that it needs two monocles. Okay, I got it. I read that wrong. So basically, glasses. Uh, captain's orders again. So I got two captain's orders there. So now we know where the special ingredient is. You're just peeking. Yeah, just peeking. Haven't researched it, but I need I need golden syrup for the third recipe. So I needed to find that anyway. Okay. So now we know where it is. So now I can go to done. And then you have to get a research card to unlock it. If I had a research card, I could unlock, unlock okay. it, yes. So we'll go next phase. Here's the Z Zap Mart. I'm going to have the... Um, I'm going to have the scientist grab a Spun Silk because that's a really nice card. And then we're going to go in turn. And now we got the um, the engineer's turn. So now we got a, uh, a crisis, not really quite a crisis, it's a bonus card. Draw an extra card brought to you by Zapmart. So we can draw one extra card. And so in the in the engineer's hand, he's actually in charge of doing repairs and things like that. So we got a trusty wrench here and we got an upgrade ship. Um, and oh, we got a wrench, we need a wrench. We do need a wrench. We do need a wrench to repair two things at the lab. And I think that's, and we also got to repair one sh one shield there. So let's see if we can do, you want to try to do all that real quick? Well, does he need a hall pass to even get there? Nope, this will allow you to play it anywhere. It doesn't have any location requirements, so he can repair from anywhere on the ship. Awesome. So let's do the trusty wrench. Wait, he doesn't even need to go there to repair it? Apparently not. He's that good of an engineer. Wow. <laughs> so we're going to throw in three power into this card, and that's going to allow us to re repair three things. So now that that, un that opens the system status for, uh oh, he actually has an extra problem there so and this takes more power than i thought the repairing these takes two power repairing this takes one power and repairing this takes two power so we can repair one shield we can repair um one of the scientist bubbles there and then we're out of points and next thing we do we can also upgrade the ship so we're going to click that and we're going to put in this and the hall pass and that's going to allow us to upgrade the ship with 
Um, you take a ma uh, we're going to upgrade shields and FDL. So you take a manufacturing engine core you picked up during the last outing and are able to repurpose it for the Galaxy, Galaxy Gourmet. As you begin to bolt the part into the ship of Central Electronics, you realize it won't exactly fit. You can only route the additional power to the shields or to the FDL engines. So I'm saying we're going to put it on shields because we don't want to take too much damage. Yes? Yes, I would always pick shields over FDL. Well, early on for sure, because um, you don't want to take damage. It's not repairable. So that's the engineer's turn. So okay. we're gonna go next phase. So now the Zap Mart's getting a little, a little bare because the uh, captain needs to go and actually get more things. But we can get the. Uh, when can we jump again? Uh, on the captain's turn. Only on the captain's turn you can jump. Only on the captain's that turn. That makes sense. That's the only that's, job. That's they give the order. Yeah. There. Yep. The yeah, captain's only job is well, primary job is to jump the ship and to you know do captainy things. Basically, um, so we don't need any of these things right now. We're gonna get the um, we don't need the ingredients. We can get the Aegis battery, sure, and we'll go ahead and turn. Get a new set of cards. Captain's turn. Let's go ahead and jump the ship. What do you say? I want to jump the ship. Yes. Crisis. Uh, the captain and the scientist need to meet in the same room, and it looks like it's gonna be in the scientist lab in 12 turns. Oh, because we did the other objective, it gave us a new one. Yeah, did you get those. Even if you don't complete them, it's still going to keep giving you more to kind of pressure you to, to do these crises. Ah. But this will be easy because the scientist basically is always in the lab, and so I just need to move the captain there at some point. So so wait a minute. Only All you need to do to for the crisis is just meet somewhere? That's one of the crises. Others are like meteor hits the ship or something breaks or something like that. Okay. So this is this is a common crisis, though. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hit engage. We're gonna power Doesn't up. it look like the Wonder Woman symbol? It does look like the Wonder Woman and symbol. And she's the, you know, woman captain, so. I never really thought about that. Just, just say it. Huh. I, th I thought it looked a little like a Klingon symbol. Well, just or the wings a, part. A, you know, the W for the Wonder Woman? Yeah, good woman. point. All right. Okay. So we're gonna, Sorry. we're gonna, this is the only power we have, so we're gonna put that on engage and jump the ship. And it's gonna allow us to jump. Uh, I guess here, and then we're going to try to jump around towards the first. We're not going to get there in this episode. It's just not going to happen. You got to read the thingies. Uh, Catan, Toss City System. They keep trying to give us bricks and sheep instead of cash. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are we going to settle there? <laughs> Boom! Boom! I'm glad you got that. I love you so much. Uh, bricks. I, I only played it once, but it was so much fun. I'll, I'll give you two bricks for one sheep. Um, and this one is G8K6, pronounced G -G -G by the locals, or was it G -G -G -G? And then Spinus. Uh, Spinus, <laughs> the locals don't think the name of their planet is funny, no matter how many times you say it. <laughs> I'll just leave that one alone. Mm. Bunch it. Now we're in Catan. You remember how many times I kept saying Catan? Yep. And you were like, it's Catan, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catan, Catan. Tomato, tomato. Pep talk. Pep talk. <laughs> Pep talk. The captain would like a word. Another random player feels invigorated and draws a card. You have a lot in common with the captain. <laughs> She's always like, woohoo! Yeah. Peace sign! Thumbs up! You're Let's awesome! Go, go Dean! Yay! <laughs> Punch it. See where, where, what we get next. We're, oh, we're at... <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Space Pirates. They've got us cornered. Discard four power or a random card from every player's hand is lost for Oh, uh, lost forever. Man, that hurts. It's always pirates, <sighs> isn't it? There's I don't have four power in my hand. I'm gonna have to take the damage. Lost backtrack, lost hall pass, lost research, lost trusty wrench. Ouch. Aw, oh, we need the wrench. We can get another wrench, but that is painful. Solar crab. Humans are the only species that can't look directly at this crab. So ex fresh. So ex tasty. Exotic ingredient, but we didn't need it, unfortunately. Dock ship. So now right, we have new blueprints. Um, we have solar crab was one of them. We just got it already. Wait, what are blueprints? Blueprints are the things you can add to the Zap Mart. So you, we've been buying things from the Zap Mart, but we got to restock like new the goods. Zap Mart. New goods, new cards that you can put in your hand by buying them from the Zap Mart. Right. So uh, we need, we're definitely going to need another one of those blue meats because we need a lot of those. 
Uh, we need to have the, let's see, play to peek at your next four draws. You may destroy one. Uh, X-ray burn analyzer. It sounds really awesome. We're going to get the spun silk. Uh, we're going to grab another hall pass in case someone needs it. Actually, you know what? People, there, we have enough hall passes. But we have enough space, so I guess we have to get it. What about the ingredient? Uh, we got it. Oh, solar crab? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, we grabbed that. Okay, resupply. Mm -hmm. And that'll put it back in the zap mart. And then... We gotta, we're done with the captain's turn. We can go next phase. And so here's things we can buy. Uh, I'm gonna have her grab hall pass, and then that's it. You don't have to grab anything except for you have to grab at least one card, so you'd have to grab last resort if you don't grab anything. So it's best just grab whatever is the best card available if you only want one, or if you don't want any. Bad dream, the captain nods off at the helm after an all-nighter. Discard two power to wake her, wake up, or we hit a space probe for one damage. So Aww. we can discard one day, one uh, two power, can't we? It'd be all of our power. Yuck. All right. How much? How much? Wait. How many? Uh... Actually, we can we could take damage. I was gonna say, what is it? The shield? Shield. It'll take shield. So damage. it would just take one damage from the shield. Let's do that instead. I'd rather do that because the power seems more important. Okay. Apparently I can't take undo. my cards. Where's the undo button? We don't have an undo button. No. Okay, we're gonna take the damage. I mean the dodge. Boink. Sorry. So That's can't really get. can't really do anything with the uh, can't really do anything with the cook, unfortunately. Chef. Chef. Cook. Whatever. No, you try calling a chef a cook. Oh, uh, we can keep one item. St uh, yeah. Discard that one. And we're gonna have to we'd have to do another turn to get cooked so we can throw these two ingredients into the Chef! Pot. Chef! Sorry, chef. chef. He he does have the cook card, I'm just saying, but he is a chef. Alright, and so um yeah, I mean but that that's pretty much what the game is, right? Yeah. So yeah. so that's that went pretty well. If we keep going, we keep going towards the first and we keep trying to get uh we cook the items that we have, we'd make a plutini. And oh, um okay, so do you do you have to go any certain way on the map? You can just go wherever as long as you have the turns to do it? Pretty much. Cool. Yep. And is Explore. there other maps or is that just the map? It's procedurally generated. So um, all the connections are different. All the stars are rearranged. All the recipes are Oh, I mean are like if order. you go through all of the points. Are they all, all the planets? All this. Yeah, they're all... They're, is, will there there's be a, a new map after that? There is a set number of planets, but there's a different arrangement layout of them randomly based on new game okay, okay. so cool so thanks so much for watching this has been um space food truck space food truck and it's going to be released november 24 2015 it is of course playable online with one to four players there'll be links in the description to uh, the store page their website the to all the information the tutorials the tutorial videos and everything uh, let me know what you guys think of this game. It, it does take a lot to understand uh, up, up front, but once you understand it, it's just like any other board game. You know, you want you want you to know the rules. It's you can get going, get playing. And There's can, so many things to do, though. So many planets to explore and everything. So definitely, and you you have to get a good team together, a good team that knows how to play the game so that you can succeed. So it, if you're playing multiplayer, you want to hope that you don't have a weak link. Weak link. Oh, on do the you team. battle any other ships? I don't know. I'm guessing it's just through events and crises and things like ah. that. We are just a space food truck after all. I'm just saying. So, cool. So, thanks so much for watching. And, oh. Uh, no, wait. Feel, I've been the wife. I've been Jolindo. Feel free to click the subscribe button. And remember. Keep it clean.